so to help your teeth? Uh, I'm not pretty much know about the fluoride, but it's come with what I know about it. It is known that fluoride, and particularly the type of fluoride that people are using, has a range of negative health effects. And obviously, if you're drinking a large quantity of water, or a large quantity of water relative to your body size, especially if you're an infant or a baby, those effects are going to be even more pronounced. People who are very interested in their health will automatically drink a lot of water as, a, as a, a healthy thing to do. So the very people that are trying to drink more of it for their health are getting more fluoride into their bodies. Instead of fixing symptoms, we need to address cause. Fluoride is causing a lot of disease, a lot of cancer, a lot of misery. Lowering of IQ, thyroid dysfunction, bone cancer. It's very undemocratic, it's against the Bill of Rights and it shouldn't be allowed. Well, it makes me feel worried about my friends and family who are having children and think that their kids could be affected by fluoride. I've got grandchildren and they're drinking it as well, but they can't avoid it, unfortunately, unless you stop them drinking tap water. If somebody wants to have fluoride, they can achieve it through buying fluoridated toothpaste. But the idea that we are going to use this drift net approach of putting something in the water to cover everybody, whether or not it's been proven to have a beneficial health effect, or especially when there are um, negative health effects, whose interest is the Ministry of Health serving? They could use fluoridated toothpaste, buy fluoride tablets, so they can get all the fluoride they want without bothering people like me that don't want to touch it. I think uh, anything given to the broader population should be consenting. We pay our rate, we're supposed to get clean water for it. It should be the choice of people as to whether or not they want to be fluoridated or not. Currently, in most parts of Auckland, there isn't a choice because fluoride is added to the water. It's essentially mass medication, forced mass medication, that not many people are aware of. Well, I'm not comfortable about that at all. I think it should be an individual's choice. Quite obviously, if you've, got, if you've got mass medication, for me, that's a real problem. It sounds creepy. Why would, why would anyone support mass medication? Fluoridisation of the water is unethical. It is a breach of the human rights. I don't see mass medication across other uh, ingredients that could conceivably be added to our water. What's different about fluoride? Take it out. I don't believe anybody should put chemicals into water that you can't control. It's just straight out fraud.